My dear friends, how quickly things change. This time last week, we were presuming that life would continue much the same as it had been unfolding since the beginning of the year. Another lockdown seemed to be a far-fetched idea. And yet by Saturday afternoon, events had necessitated very quick action, and we only had a couple of hours to close our church as we entered this new period during which we're not able to gather. On Sunday evening, in an empty church, I celebrated Mass with Father Joey and Deacon Aldrin for the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. There's something quite dramatic in doing that with echoes of our period in March to May of last year in 2020. It still seems surreal that in Australia we're celebrating the Eucharist behind closed doors with no one present. And yet we oblige with the restrictions for the sake of the common good at the service of ensuring that everyone is kept as safe as possible. We do not know how the current situation might develop. Naturally, we're hopeful that the restrictions may lift by Saturday the 10th of July. However, clearly we'll need to follow things as they present. In the meantime, I wanted to send you all a message to let you know that Father Joey, Deacon Aldrin, Deacon Kevin and I along with all of our parish team, are thinking of you. We miss seeing many of you. We pray, however, that you are being kept safe and that you are doing everything required of us at this time to keep one another safe. Our parish office is remaining open during this period for essential tasks, even though a number of our team uh, will be working from home. However, Nicole is by the phone if you need to ring or to make any inquiry. And I continue to be at my desk for most of the time. It will in fact be helpful for me to get on top of a range of tasks that have been awaiting my attention for a little while. Deacon Aldrin was to enjoy a week of annual leave. He is limited though now to a staycation, as many of us are during these school holidays when we've had to shelve all of our plans. Given the projected shortness of the current lockdown and given that we don't yet have live streaming capacity installed in our church, we might not broadcast masses from our own church over the next couple of weeks. We will of course adjust this strategy if we realise that we're going to be in lockdown for longer. But remember, Sunday Mass is live streamed from our cathedral at Waitara every Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. And as you would know, there are many, many options on the internet, including Mass for you at home. Participating in these events is a worthwhile way of entering spiritual communion with the Eucharist. Alternatively, we can use the time when we would be attending Mass to pray personally or to read the scriptures. Please God, it won't be too long before we can regather. My own Sunday homilies will also continue to be available uh, on my personal website, davidranson.com.au. I will, however, send you a regular message during this time. I'll seek to send another by the end of this week. In this way, I hope to assure you that we are thinking of you and holding you all in our prayer. It seems that we are a long way off yet from having the pandemic behind us. Once again, events force us to realise that we do not have the control over life, that sometimes we're tempted to think we have. These occasions invite us to think again on our life, not to be overly attached to our plans, to admit to a different way of living. However, for many of us, the situation raises a great deal of anxiety, especially financially. Mindful of this, let us be watchful for one another, ready to assist if circumstances invite. And that we must physically distance, the most important outcome of these times must be a greater involvement with and care for one another. Let not any one of us become more isolated, even in our physical distancing from each other. May Mary, Mother of Sorrows, she who holds all our concern and care, protect us during these times.